Alrighty guys, what's up? Very quickly, I'm going to talk about the difference between the metric and the imperial system and how to read a ruler. So overall, in the metric system, if you're dealing with small distances, you uh, usually talk about centimeters or you talk about millimeters. Um, if you're talking about large distances, then you might talk about meters or kilometers. We'll hit more on metric system conversions later. We're more or less talking about um, the imperial system right now, which is you know kind of inches and feet and then uh, miles. So how do you read a ruler? So the first thing I'm going to do is um, pull up this image we got right here. And this is uh, a part of a ruler. So if you imagine it continues on for forever, or for at least another 11 inches, um, we've got four intervals right here. So this kind of introduces the concept of a ruler. And then we're going to go in depth here in a second. If we look at 0 and 1 and think of it as a number, halfway between would make this to be one half of an inch. So that longest mark in the middle is a half inch. Uh, we can also say that this is uh, two fourths. So we notice we say one, two, or sorry, one, two fourths right here, and then three fourths, and then one whole. So if we break this into four different instances, so we got uh, one, you know, two, three, and four. Each of these make up one fourth. This turns into a little bit of addition here. So we did this as from here zero to one fourth, that makes this one fourth. And then one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. And then you can simplify two fourths down to one half. We're going to take this same thought process, but extend it to what you'd see on a typical ruler or measurement system used in uh, the United States. And that is dealing with sixteenths. And so if we start with the same thing we did again, uh, we say, we look at this, and if we count all across, this would be 16 different increments. So each one of these little hash marks here is one sixteenth of an inch. So if we were to count, we could do this is 1 16th. Uh, this right here would be 2 16ths. Here, actually, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to zoom in just a little bit so we can see this better. There we go. So let's, uh, let's continue on. This is going to be 1 16th. This is 2 16ths, 3 16ths, and then all the way down, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to very quickly talk about, you can um, say something is like 4 sixteenths, but you are kind of not right because what we want to do is simplify that fraction the most. So 9, 10 sixteenths, 11 sixteenths, 12 sixteenths, and so on and so forth. 14, whew, and 15. And of course, 16 sixteenths would be one. So in each of these, we can actually simplify it and then as a fraction. So two sixteenths simplifies into one eighth. So this first hash mark right here represents one eighth. Three sixteenths does not simplify, so it stays three sixteenths. Four sixteenths simplifies to one fourth, and then so on and so forth what you get is the simplified fractions here. So this would be uh, three, three fourths, and then this would be five eighths, or sorry, uh, seven eighths. Let me that real quick. Three fourths, this would be seven eighths. And so when you talk about how to read a ruler, really it is just very quickly, it's, it's fraction addition or simplification. So until you get used to these hash marks and reading these hash marks and what they mean, what I'd recommend is you count by sixteenths first and then simplify that, that sixteen. So uh, if we say uh, an object uh, you know, is this long, what I would do is I would tell you, tell the student, hey, I'm going to read and count how many hash marks that is. So we count over one, two, three, four, five, five sixteenths. Does this 5 sixteenths simplify? Sure does not, and then we move on. But if we count it over to 6 sixteenths per se, we would then have to ask ourselves, okay, count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
does 6 sixteenths simplify? Yes, it does, into 3 eighths. All right, guys, as far as reading the sixteenths, that's what you'll see. I've got my ruler here that I uh, took from the school, borrowed from the school, my better word. And if you notice right here, it is in sixteenths. So this is what you're going to see most often. Every once in a while, you'll find the beginning of a ruler might be in 30 seconds. When it comes to this class, uh, reading in sixteenths, I'm going to call is a accurate enough number. So we're going to read in sixteenths if we can, at least bare minimum in eighths. So what I want you to do is then talk about, uh, try to figure out a couple of different measurements and try that on your own. Hey, you know, teach is this uh, five eighths? Is this you know three sixteenths? Things like that. And then when you get some quick practice, you're going to notice that there is um, a shortcut. So let's, let's erase these numbers and look at the shortcut of what we can see here. Now, if you notice, uh, these hash marks have different heights. And so the tallest hash mark in the middle automatically know is the halfway point. Done. The next hash mark, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, and the next hash mark, which would then be halfway between halfway, one-fourth, one-eighth, and then you start to see the pattern of one-sixteenths. So if you're really good at fractional addition and say, okay, what is between one-fourth and one-half? Well, uh, here's what I, uh, I do is I, I just make this into a uh, fourth. So let's make this two over four. What is between one fourth and two fourths? Uh, and that would be three eighths. Okay, and so just just quick addition there and trying to figure out. So let's go back over to the other side. What is between one half and one? Well, that's three fourths. What's between three fourths and one? Um, I would take both of these to eight. So this would be six over eight. This would be eight over eight. What is bet halfway between six and eight? Well, that's seven eighths. Follow me there. Uh, what about what's between one half and three fourths? Take both of those to eight. This becomes four over eight. Three fourths becomes six over eight. What's between four and six over eight? Five eighths. So on and so forth. That way you can quickly kind of figure it out. So after you get used to counting the hash marks and you see the pattern, you can try just doing this quick addition in your head. It gets to the point where you start reading these things really, really quickly. It just takes practice. And so that's what you're gonna do right now. You're gonna measure these blocks. Now these blocks have been pre-measured to specific measurements. So make sure that when you're measuring, hey, is this measurement right? Cool, and then you're looking good. All right, guys, good luck, and I'll see you later.